Hello guys, this is Joyce and I am here with uh, some little bitty hauls, something, some little different things from several companies and oh where to start. First, from Tuesday morning, I don't think I have any lot from Tuesday morning this week, but I picked up, I went in and bought coffee. They actually have so much stuff in the store right now and they had these simple story sticker books and they came two to the package and I, I thought okay and I got it because of this fall one I don't know what the thing with me and fall is right now but I love the colors you know the neutrals and stuff so they had these stickers and I thought okay I'll get that one but they also had this um, winter one. Oh, uh, they had this Christmas. Well, it's winter. It's not Christmas. It's winter. And it's just, I mean, the colors are kind of not bright, bright. They're kind of muted. But I thought they were cute and I can use them in my planner or whatever. So I picked that up with, along with my coffee and some clip, some bag clips because I don't never have enough clips to put on stuff. And I am getting ready to get back into scrapbooking and I love memory keeping in um, Traveler's Notebook. So I found a new company and it's from one of the ladies that I subscribed to that I saw this. And the company is Everyday Explorer. And what I liked about the Traveler's Notebook was the quad one, the quality of the paper. Oh God, I should have opened one. I actually got, um, I did two orders. I actually have four of these, I think. And the quality of the paper and then the fact that it has these lines for your journaling. So, and I, you can stamp on them, and I wanted to do more stamping because that stops it from being as bulky. I'm still going to use stickers, but the stamping. So anyway, I bought four of these, and I can't wait to get started. And then she uses these stamps. Her name is Hiba, and her channel is My Little Journal, and she does mostly memory keeping, scrapbooking, project life. She loves, she works a lot in traveler's notebooks and this is one that she's using and she, I thought, oh, I like that. I like the way it did. So, but she uses these stamps and it's got like the, up to 30. There's another set that I'm going to get that starts at 31. So like if you do project life, then week one, week two, week three, it's 52 weeks, so the other set of numbers goes up to 52. And then, like I said, you have your months here and your days. And I just really like these. And then this one, you have your days, different things for days, and this is all days, so you got just different, uh, fully written out. You got um circles <laughs> you have just the letters for each one you got weekend today saturday so just a lot of different versions of the days of the week anyway so i got these and i'll put a link to that uh, channel for any scrapbookers out there i love scrapbooking and over the last few years i have just not done as much of it as i would like and I have a lot of pictures and a lot of projects for my family that I really need to get done. So I thought that these would help me because Traveler's Notebooks, guys. And then I also have a small My Creative Times. Do you believe this is the first time I've ever, in, ever bought anything from them? Even though I had already set up the an account, I had never ordered. But I saw, and I think it was fun creation, Lady Cree used this um, mailbox gift card holder. And I just put that on my list of something that I really wanted to have. And so 
I had it and the price was really good. Um, the mailbox gift card holder was $7.99 so it was like God okay and then I got three of the flat bowls you know I have the bowls that are bulky and big but these lay flat and these are better to use on my cards and let me take that out some cuz see you can see all my stuff so I got three different sizes I got the medium I got the small and I got the fun size so I can't wait to play with those those were all I got but it was like, oh, why haven't I ever ordered from them? So I saw a couple other things, but I decided to hold off on those. And then I have my order from Craft Stash. Yeah, Craft Stash. They sent me a 15 or 20% coupon. And of course, I couldn't resist. So, you know, I recently bought the box for the pop-up box for and I got the birthday set so then they had this gingerbread set so I thought you know let me get that cuz I already got the box I got it a couple weeks ago so I'm gonna be playing around with these and make some cards using these so I got that <laughs> and at 20% off what the heck and then I got these cute little penguins from Sizzix I don't usually buy big styles anymore, but <clears throat> I really wanted to have them. I really did. <clears throat> and so you can see it's got all of their little clothes and scarves and stuff, so I can't wait to play with that. And then I got this layered die set, and this is called, uh, let us see the stitched Moroccan tile so I really like that and I don't I don't see the bill for this order so I can't tell you how much that was but I just thought that was so cute and you know me and my dies I love me some dies and then I just got these word dies and this one just says winter wishes Merry Christmas and Christmas wishes and then this one just says hello autumn spring summer and winter so I got those and then I got another birthday die what, what, what would I do without my birthday dies and this one just says <clears throat> I see your birthday has come around again really but it was so cute so I thought that was good so I, that is uh, part of my stuff Let's move that out of the way. And so I need to do my calendars because my calendars are going to expire. Now this die here, I ordered this die from, I had got an um, Amazon order. And I was so disgusted when I got this die because if you looked at it on the page, it looked like it was, say, four inches across and the I don't think it had measure, you know, measurements in there. But guys, I got this and I was disgusted. I went on there to return it. And then it's got the layering parts. But when you fold this, this is nothing. What am I going to do with that? What am I going to put in a pocket that size? That is just totally disgusting. But anyway, when I went to do the return, because it was just like when I saw it, I knew this, I'm not keeping that. Well, I did the return and they told me not to return it. So they probably knew, they just gave me my money back. So they probably knew this was a piece of crap. Excuse my language. But anyway, so I also, guys, I'm telling you the truth. I did an order from scrapbook.com because, you know, I love using the Traveler's Notebook for my um, calendar and stuff. But I was running out of numbers. And this, I've been using the Heidi Swap. It has over 900 stickers. And my pack is down to just a few. I've only got a few left. So this is all I had. And I've been using it for a long time. So these are all I have left. So I... I saw them and I should have bought two packages and I'll probably get another one because I really like using these. You got the different sizes. And 
So I needed those because I always buy the undated um, calendars and like this. Well, this is my monthly. So I always buy the undated. These are the uh, Prima ones and I was so disgusted. They had, I bought some more. They had the monthly and these were the last ones and this was my last weekly. They don't have the weekly anymore, and I really like this. I like the size of the pages, and it's just been my favorite planner, and I couldn't, they don't have the weekly, so I'm trying to figure out and see if I can get that. So instead, I bought the Carp DM, and I don't know, it's wider. This one is wider. Then this came two to a pack for the weekly but it's wider than what I'm using, which is fine. I don't care about that. But, you know, I'm trying to get my stuff together for next year. So anyway, I, um, I'm not sure. So it's like this. It's a little different from what I'm using, but not a lot. I'm not crazy about the lines. But since I use uh, stickers and stuff, I guess it'll be okay. I'm just not really that crazy about this one. But it's what they had, and I'm going to need something, either that or I'm going to have to change the way. So I got three of the monthlies from the uh, Prima, and I just hate they don't have the weekly anymore. So if anybody knows where I can get the weekly one, I would really appreciate it. Because I do like these, and I tend to, like, my daughter wants me to do her one for next year, so I'll probably use one of these for that. And anyway, so that is that. That's my, um, what else is there? I think that's it. I do have some tonic stuff, but I'm going to do that as a separate. So, guys, I think that is it for this video, and... I really appreciate you watching, and let's just get rid of all this paper and garbage and stuff, because, gosh. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I forgot about Joann's, okay? I've been wanting to do the Elizabeth Crafts um, planner, well, for memory keeping, and... I bought some of Elizabeth Crafts dies because Joann's had them on sale. So these are her planner essentials, and if you, I haven't bought the, um, I like the, the traveler's notebook that they have because that's basically the design that it is. But these are just some of her dies, and this one is. They don't really have names, but you can see what she does with them. Uh, I can't see but she does memory keeping and you can just cut your own pages and make your own pages to fit and I just really like them because it has the hole covers to protect the hole so they don't tear so easily and then there's one that's like Christmas so I really am looking forward to playing with these I can't wait and uh but I, I, I want to get the notebook to the cover. And so then this one is a Christmas one. So she has a lot of different ones. Um, this one is a pocket one. And it says... I don't know what the words say. She doesn't have them on here. Today... Um, hmm. I'll have to cut them and see. This is planner pocket one. This one is Planner Essential 14 Bookmark. So that's a bookmark. This one is Planner Essentials 1. And it says, Yes, Today, Love This. And it's got tabs and the whole pole protectors. And then this one is Planner Essential 5. And it has the smaller one and it makes like a half a page. So I am looking forward to playing with these and I will be buying some more because she just came out with some new ones. So 
I am going to be looking for. This one has this week photos for. Let's see, for the. I have no idea. You know, it's hard to read backwards. This says love. And then it's got some flags. So, anyway, I got those. And they, like I said, they were on sale. And that is it. So, guys, that is my haul. And like I said, I do have um, some tonic hauls. I missed the last two uh, mystery uh, bags that they do, mystery die sets. Uh, so I missed, they were sold out. They, everybody must have figured out that if you order on Tuesday, you can get it on Tuesday. By Wednesday, even Tuesday night, they were sold out for two weeks in a row. So I didn't get any of the newer ones, but I do have one from three weeks ago uh, that I want to share. So, and I don't think I showed that one. But anyway, I'm going to do that in the next video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate your support, and I can't wait to play with my goodies. Like I said, some of these are necessities, and some are just things that I've been wanting. So, hey, what can I tell you? The, th the problem here is, where am I putting this stuff? I'm trying to get my little kit together for um, some scrapbooking that I'm planning to do. And so I will be doing videos of that as I do it. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned because I do have my tonic haul. And I just got some more from tonic that, yeah, what can I say? I love some tonic. And I just don't know that, did I, did I show this? No, I didn't show this one. This is my last one. But anyway, let me do a different video because this is already getting long. And uh, I had two items in that. So guys, thank you. I am rambling big time. And this video has went to 17 minutes already. And that is just totally ridiculous. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And guys, I will be back. Bye.